Hey there guys, welcome back. Today's gonna to be part one of my sunken greenhouse project where I'm essentially digging a hole in the ground and building a greenhouse style roof over that hole. Now, why am I wanting to do this? Well, there's a few different reasons. And the first off is primarily, I just wanna have a greenhouse, extend my growing season, as well as have the advantage of the thermal mass of the earth to keep that greenhouse a more consistent temperature throughout the year. Number two, I live in an area with really high winds and having a structure that's lower to the ground in my instance is a big advantage. And number three, I've always thought it was cool and I just wanna do it. And number four, if it doesn't work out, it's gonna be one kick-ass hot tub or whatever. So anyway, the first thing I'll do is I'll show you kind of how I've been digging this. It's about 80% so far has been dug by hand, maybe 75%. Um, and then after that, I will show you kind of what I'm planning. Maybe I'll give you a little drawing or something uh, just to kind of show you the direction I'm going. The start of the hole really didn't require too much forethought. I just kind of eyeballed a shape and started digging. My technique for digging is pretty simple. I start out with a pick or a digger bar, loosen up the ground, and then shovel the rest of it out. The top six inches came out really easily and then the rest of it started taking quite a bit longer. Once I got down to about the two to two and a half foot level, I got a welcome visit from my father-in-law. He said he had access to a backhoe for about an hour and asked me if I wanted help with the last couple of feet. Well, I couldn't refuse. Once we got the final depth established, I started digging a rough stairway and preparing an area to pour a concrete footer that will eventually support a concrete block entrance for the greenhouse. And here's a quick time lapse of the pour of that footer. So now that you've seen the most technical aspect of this project, let me grab the camera and I'll show you kind of what everything is that you see in the picture here. Like the shelf back there, these little trenches on the sides, the makeshift stairs down there, and uh, basically kind of tell you what I've got planned for the next stages of the process. So the first thing I'll talk about is this little trench that goes the entire perimeter of the hole. And what this is eventually going to be is a concrete footer that I will set one to two courses of concrete block on. And then after I get that set, it will serve as the base for my greenhouse uh, roof frame. So I'll probably have more blocks on the back side or the north side, and then more of a wood frame wall on uh, this side to obviously allow more light in. It's, I, I still need to extend the trench out a little bit, a few inches this way, so I get about a 10 to 12 inch width, and then it will be about five to six inches deep or thick um, in total, which I know <laughs> some of you Masons out there will say that's probably way too thin, and it probably is, but it is below my frost line, and it's really not gonna hold, uh, be holding that much weight. I'm just doing it to give myself some sort of good, even solid base uh, for which to build the greenhouse roof in. So I guess now I'll take you inside the hole and talk a little bit about that. Okay, now that we're in the bottom of the hole, you can kind of get a bit better perspective of how deep this thing is. It's about three and a half to just over four feet deep. And on this side where I have this little bench, um, the reason I did that, number one, is to put some potted plants and kind of make it a functional space. Number two, it was area that I didn't have to dig. And then number three, it is uh, it gives that kind of uh, terraced or stacked effect to keep the shoring of this wall a little more stable. 
it's not a huge concern of mine as our primary soils here, or if you want to call them soils, are decomposed granite uh, right below this layer of topsoil. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty much rock. Um, it will crumble under a pick or a shovel, um, but it really does hold together very well and makes a great solid surface. I probably will do some sort of gabion along this, although I'm not quite sure just yet. <laughs> That's still in the uh, planning phases. So what's next? Uh, yeah, <laughs> the next thing is going to be the stairs and the entrance to the uh, greenhouse. And the last part of this first portion of the project is going to be finishing out the doorway that I have to get into the greenhouse. Um, you saw a couple clips ago that I poured this concrete footer. It's about 12 or 13 inches deep. And basically I have some rebar coming up out of it. And what that's gonna do is support some concrete uh, uh, blocks that I'm going to build up on either side and fill them with concrete and more rebar and I'm going to tie those blocks into the footers up above that will support the rest of the structure. Um, it's also going to have some timber bracing above it to keep the columns in case this uh, this soil ever shifted in to keep the columns nice and robust or strong uh, <laughs> but like many of my projects this is uh, a an experiment so <laughs> it might not be perfect but you know what if it's not I'll uh, I'll correct it then and then after that one of the last phases of the project that has to do with the dirt or digging uh, are, is gonna be those stairs behind me and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'll probably do something with maybe some stones or something like that I'll cut them out a little bit more uh, maybe pour some thin slabs of concrete just to reinforce that soil uh, but Anyway, <laughs> we'll get on to the next section, or if there's no other section, I will see you on the next portion of this project, which would be part two. See ya!